A woman in Las Vegas was apprehended by police after stashing a $12,000 stolen Rolex watch in a very unusual place. Hey, everyone. Welcome back. So, according to police, a woman was arrested on Sunday for snatching up a $12,000 Rolex watch and concealing it, of all places, inside her vagina gad, if you know what I mean. And I'm not taking a piss with you either. <laughs> so she shoved it up her vagina gad and was then snatched up by police. Oh, man. You got to have a lot of balls to do that. Well, obviously not in this case. So 33-year-old Sarah Richards, who comes from Baltimore, was in Las Vegas for a court hearing on theft charges coming from an incident back in June in which police claimed that she stole a $100,000 watch back then. So... She stole this $12,000 Rolex while she was in Vegas for her court appearance, according to police. I think she has a problem. What do you think? Now, this woman is facing a whole bunch of accusations, including theft over $100,000, residential burglary, grand larceny of $100,000 or more, giving medications to aid in the commission of a felony. I didn't even know that one was an actual listed crime anywhere. And grand larceny ranging from five thousand to twenty five thousand dollars. So back in June, a hotel visitor in Vegas told police that the woman he was with the night before had stolen his hundred thousand dollar Patek Philippe watch. He also said he thinks that he was drugged by Richards, who was the woman he met in the casino. She roofied him. Boy, I'll bet there's a bunch of feminists out there that are cheering her on. You go, girl. How do you like it when it happens to you? People all around are just sick. So the man said that he fell asleep in his room and woke up the next morning and discovered that the watch was gone. Apparently, she took it right off his wrist. So Richards was scheduled to appear for that court hearing on Monday. That was her prelim in the matter. But then police were called to another hotel in South Las Vegas Boulevard on Sunday. Someone called 911 and said that a woman named Richards, she gave her name, had stolen things from his room, including a $12,000 Rolex. So security searched her, and they couldn't find the stolen Rolex. But apparently she had it on her, or rather in her. According to the alleged victim, he met Richards in a hotel, and they went back to his room to have a drink for, you know, he thought he was going to be getting some wufta fufta. So... They were going to have a glass of wine together in the room, and the man claims that after Richards insisted on having more wine, he started to get tired and fell asleep. (laughs) He then woke up and discovered that his watch was gone. And so he asked her about it. So does that mean she stayed in the room? She never left the room. The crazy thief said that he panicked uh, right in front of her in the room, and then he left the room. It was his room. So officers searched the room, And they found the man's wine glass with a white powdery substance Uh oh! at the bottom, but they found no watch. Well, that's because she apparently put the watch somewhere he intended to go that night, but he never made it. (laughs) Okay, so a metal detector wand was then passed over her body. And according to police, an alarm kept sounding off around the (laughs) the VJJ area. Okay, now that is hilarious. You have to wonder, will the victim ever wear it again when he gets it back? Now, remember that Seinfeld episode where George took a book into the bathroom and he didn't want the book anymore, so he tried to return it to the store, but the woman at the counter looked at the back and said, you can't return this. It's been in a bathroom. (laughs) Remember that? Remember that he he tried to donate the book to charity and they wouldn't take it either? (laughs) Imagine if it was a Timex. You guys know what I'm talking about. So cops wrote in the police report, quote, She stated that we were going to find it at jail anyway because they do a strip search. And she did not want to go through the hassle. (laughs) I'll bet. So the watch was impounded after being placed in a biohazard bag. And this is not the brightest of thieves out there because the cops also found her on her person with a pill capsule containing a white powdery substance. So she bonded out. And her next court appearance is set for January 10th. Let's see if she can stop shoving things up, you know. So if I were the victim of the Rolex crime, I would demand that in court she be forced to show where she had it hidden. That would be my revenge. (laughs) 
So there's an important lesson here for you ladies out there. If you're going to try to hide something on your person where you know that most people will not look, you now know that anything metallic will be picked up by a metal detector wand. Oh, and I understand that this is the x-ray that they took before they arrested her and after they did the, the wanding. So, you know. Okay, so that's it. Thanks a lot. Thanks for being with us, and we'll see you in the next one.